ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to check deep tendon reflex. In the last tutorial, I taught you what is deep tendon reflex. Today, we are going to do, to do hands-on experiment. So please stick on this video from the beginning up to the end. I'm very sure that you are going to run a lot. We are going to start with knee jerk reflex or patella tendon reflex. Where do we find patella tendon? Right here, down the patella, that is where there is a tendon called patella tendon reflex. If you ask your patients to extend, you will feel the patella tendon gets very hard. So, between the patella, the lower part or the inferior part of the patella and the tibial tuberosity, that is where patella tendon is. Now, what do you do? First of all, you need this reflex hammer. The hammer. What does the hammer do? You just smash something, but we don't smash, uh, we don't smash the patient's body. What we do, we just strike at the tendon. Now, where do this I mean, where does this tendon come from? It comes from the quadriceps muscle. What is the function of the quadriceps muscle? It's just the extension of the knee. Extend again. Yes, this is the movement of the quadriceps. So, when we strike here, the reaction will be the extension of the knee. When you check patella tendon or knee jerk reflex, the reaction will be knee extension. Let's check. Please, you relax. Relax. Also, you have to see the position. The feet should be hanging at the edge of the table or the couch. So what you do, you just treat the area. Very obvious. On this left one, let us recheck on this light one. Okay, have you seen the reaction? He has not done it willingly. This is an, an involuntary reaction. So this is knee jerk reflex. Right now we are going to check the ankle jerk reflex. So where is it done? It's done just at the Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon is just the tendon superior to the heel. That is the Achilles tendon. So what you do, you strike with the hammer at the Achilles tendon. Now, what reaction will you see? You know, Achilles tendon comes from the calf muscles. When the calf muscles contract, the foot points downwards. Yes, it points downward this way. So that's what will be the reaction. What you do when you strike, you have to hold the foot. When you strike, now the foot will push you downward. Okay. You relax, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I'm just supporting the foot. You don't push the foot, you just support it. When you strike up the tendon, you will feel the move, downwards movement of the foot. And remember, you have to compare both sides. Okay, now let's go. Now leave it. Worry. Let's go to another reflex. Which one? You know biceps. Biceps, it is this muscle, the upper rib muscle, the one that does which movement when the quadriceps contract, there will be elbow flexion. So you come at just the mid distance of the cubital fossa here. That is where you press your thumb. Then you tell your patients to relax. Okay, what do you do then? You strike at your thumb. Remember, we are checking a normal person. If he's not a normal person, suppose if, if someone with uh, like the upper motor neuron region would see much reaction but 
it's okay with this. This is biceps tendon reflex. Now, there is brachioradialis reflex. Brachioradialis is this muscle that crosses from the lateral border of the elbow and comes and get attached to radius. When this muscle contract, relax please, when this muscle contracts, we see this movement. So, you come just two inches above the wrist joint at the lateral, uh, posterior lateral area, that is where you strike. You can see from this finger, when I strike, you see already the finger react. Remember, we are checking a normal person. If it's not normal, we'll see much reaction. Now, let's go to the last one. We go to triceps tendon reflex. So, <laughs> like um, my patients is worried that maybe we are going to strike this uh, posterior part of the elbow joint. It's called olecranon process. No, we are going to strike superior to it. That is where the tendon is. The tendon is from the triceps muscle. When the triceps contract, you're gonna see the extension movement. So you put it into flexion, then you strike the area. You see the, the reaction, the arm comes into extension. So guys, thank you for your attention. You have seen how to check the deep tendon reflex. And please don't forget to just to press the red button, which is called subscribe so that you will not miss out the next video or another video from this channel. May God bless you about that. You can see clearly here. To check the deep tendon reflex, use this tool. It's called the reflex hammer. Then, when you strike the reflex, I mean, when you, check, uh, you strike or hit the tendon, the impulse will be conveyed through the afferent nylon and go and pass through the spinal cord. And then there will be two pathways, the inhibitory pathway and the stimulatory pathway. Let's first of all see the stimulatory pathway. Here is the alpha motor nylon that goes and stimulates the quadriceps muscle. So when the quadriceps muscle is stimulated, it will react. Remember where the reaction came from. We hit the patella tin, then the message will go through, or the impulse will go through the afferent nylon. Then the afferent nylon will stimulate the alpha nylon, the alpha motor nylon, of the quadriceps, then the alpha motor neuron will go and stimulate the quadriceps and make it contract. Meanwhile, the inhibitory pathway will go to inhibit the hamstring muscle. But before we go and see clearly what happens, let's go through this anatomy of the cross section of the spinal cord. There is, there are two parts, the lateral ones, that is the Left one, there is dorsal horn. Do you get it? There is the central canal. The same way on this right side. So here we are checking the right side. Here is the left side. On both sides, there is dorsal and central horns. 